Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I am the Boss Chick here on YouTube, and this is where I do handbag review videos. So if you are interested in watching handbag review videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, I am here today to do a review on a Portland Leather Goods uh, medium size crossbody tote. I have owned this bag for about a year now, and I thought I would circle back and do a wear and tear and how this bag has been holding up, uh, just to kind of let you guys know, you know, what I think and if this is something that I actually plan to keep in my collection. Now, if you are interested in knowing all of that, please stay tuned. But before we actually get into the video, I also wanted to just take a minute and let you guys know that I am a small business owner. I own a, a skincare company, a natural skincare company, and I will leave the link below so that you can check out my website. It's called Body and Soap Skincare. And uh, please check out the website. Let me know what you think and consider supporting my business as well. So with all of that said, and without further ado, I'll go ahead and get into the video and we can talk about the handbag because I know that that is why you are here. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the bag that I'm going to be reviewing today. This is my Portland Leather Goods mini, not mini, medium crossbody tote and here is the strap that is why it is called a crossbody tote now also i wanted you guys to know that if you are interested in purchasing one of these beautiful bags from portland leather goods please use my referral link below and purchase through that link so that you can get this beautiful bag and i will get points that will actually help me to purchase more of these beautiful bags. So it doesn't cost you anything. There's no cost to you, but it will help me because I just absolutely love these bags and I love getting the points that will help me purchase them. So, um, and again, I will leave the link below in the details section of, uh, of this video. Now, this is the beautiful color Blue Steel and this color is actually a retired color but there are other beautiful colors on the website in the same size i chose the one with the zipper so this one comes with a zipper some of them uh they have two types one is just the classy tote the classic tote that is open with no zipper and the other one has a zipper. So I have the one with the zipper. They all do come with a crossbody strap. I have owned this bag, I would say for about a year now and I have used it consistently. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the wear and tear on this bag and how it's been holding up and do I still plan to keep this in my uh, collection. So to get started, the medium size I find to be the perfect size because um, I believe the medium may be a little too small for me. And uh, the next one would be the, uh, the regular size uh, tote, which I also have. Um, but this one, you know, if you're just running out on the weekends or even uh, during the week, you can actually pack this bag full and take it with you. The leather has really softened up and really beautiful. This one is a pebbled leather and I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the pebbles and I won't spend too much time doing an in-depth uh, review because there are plenty of these, uh, plenty of videos on these bags on YouTube that you can look at, but I will do a spin so you can see the pebbling on the bag. You will see some scratches on the bag as i said i as i have used it you can if i zoom in right there you can see some scratches on there now because i'm constantly reaching in and out of the pocket this is where i have more um scratches as you can see right there because i'm constantly reaching into my front pocket to grab my phone 
Um, and this is actually where I keep my phone. It's a pretty substantial and a generous pocket. Uh, but because it's open, um, I don't keep my wallet in there, just the phone. The bottom of the bag. And I would say that this bag has held up pretty well, really, really well. Um, here is the hardware. And it's a little bit of a brass plated hardware. And the straps are also pretty decent, pretty long. It doesn't really dig into my shoulders or anything like that. I do find these straps to be very, very um, strong as well as convenient. You can just grab it like this. And uh, the fact that the straps are made out of the same leather material that the bag is made out of makes it really soft and pliable and uh, just really easy to just grab and go. What I do have in this bag right now, I have it pretty full. Um, the inside, of course, has held up pretty well as well. Here is the story patch of the bag. I do keep my, um, I do keep my wallet in this inside pocket right here. Um, now, if you did want to zip the bag, for the most part, I don't zip it. I just carry it um, open. But if you did want to zip the bag, you can zip it shut. This is what it looks like when it's zipped shut. And it does have a little um, piece at the end right there. And I normally just tuck that in. And I'm fine. And I'm good to go. But this is pretty much what you have in the bag. Uh, just to go ahead and talk about a little bit about what I do have in this bag. I did pick this up and this is the pencil case that I picked up uh, about a week or so ago. And this is in the color Canyon. This leather is divine. It's very, very beautiful. It's going to age really beautifully and um, it does scratch easily but that really doesn't bother me at all because that just means that this piece is going to age really beautifully so this is the pencil case in the color Kenyan which is like a, a chocolate brown really really dark brown and uh, it's full grain leather Here's the side and here's the back. And it's really easy to untie, open it up and tie it back. So it's, it's pretty simple to do. So this is my pencil case that I recently purchased. Um, in here, I do have my zip wallet. In there, I have my sunglass case. This is actually from a company called KMM and Co. Um, what else do I have in here? I have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette, and uh, not to forget my cold brew sidekick. And this one I've had for quite a while, also. And I just keep that in here. And this is kind of basically, guys, this is pretty much everything that I would carry on a daily basis in this purse. And it holds very well. It's not heavy at all. As to whether I do plan on keeping this in my collection, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. This is a gorgeous, beautiful color. That color gives you a nice... It's sort of like a nice gray and blue mixed. So it's not a bright blue, but it's like a, a very, like a dreamy, really, really beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. Absolutely love it. You can see the uh, Portland leather goods embossed in the front. And yeah, so I just wanted to stop by and share this beautiful bag with you and let you guys know that I do still have it in my collection. I still do use it on a regular basis. I do have this and I have it also in the color Kiwi, which is a beautiful shade of green. And if you scroll through my videos, you'll see that I did an unboxing of this bag um, 
and you can watch the unboxing of that but yeah i still do use this beauty right here i do plan on keeping it in my collection and i just wanted to stop by and let you know how it's holding up it's been holding up beautifully beautifully and you know go and get you a portland leather goods handbag we have they well not we they have a lot of options to choose from they have many the mini size, they have the medium size, the full size crossbody, they have totes, they have accessories, and a whole lot of options to choose from different beautiful colors. They even have mystery boxes. If you're interested in that sort of thing, do that. Go and get you one of these beautiful bags. They do sell out pretty quickly though. This I actually purchased from the premium section, not the almost perfect, but the premium section. And it came to me very 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 nice perfect so again if you want to make a purchase if you are going to make a purchase just use my link it's going to be down in the details of this video um it doesn't cost you anything but it does help me because i would love to purchase some more and what i'll do is if you use my link i'll get some points and it'll help me to be able to purchase these bags um, at a lower, lower cost. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you again for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for more videos from me. And as I said, I am also a small business owner. I'll leave the link to my website below for natural skincare. If you are interested in that sort of thing, please check out my, my, uh, my website and please do consider um, subscribing to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later.